Hey there, folks. Welcome back to HTQ. Did you like my sexy voice there? I really did try. I'm going to be making vanilla souffle today. It's an attempt because I've never made it before, and this recipe is brought to you by Eugenie's Kitchen. I'll definitely link that website down below so you guys can get the recipe. But I am just right here separating two eggs. And on my stove top, I'm melting a tablespoon of butter and adding to that one tablespoon of flour. I'm going to cook this for a little bit so I I don't get that raw flour taste when I eat my souffle. Pardon my scratch up stove, but uh, it really was the only angle that worked for this video. And I'm gonna set this aside now and mix in very slowly my half cup of milk. Uh, apparently you're supposed to do this slowly so you don't get lumps. Uh, that's at least what the recipe says. I'm gonna go by it. Now I'm going to put this back on the stove, continuously stirring it so it doesn't burn. Uh, I'm going to stir this until it thickens and I hope that this is the right consistency but I'm going to stop there because it looks like it's th been thickened enough. I'm going to also set this aside, place it in a glass bowl so everyone can see what I'm doing here. And obviously you can't have vanilla souffle without vanilla. If you have fresh vanilla pots, I think this would be better, but I only have the cheap vanilla extract. But you know, I think it will be just fine. Now I couldn't find my measuring spoon, so someone told me that the cap of the vanilla bottle is normally the right amount so I'm just gonna go with it so it was a cap full and that's my measurement and of course mix this in and then we're gonna make sure it's cooled down enough that it won't cook the eggs when I add it so it's been cooling for about three minutes so adding the eggs now and we're gonna mix it up until it's nice and yellow So I'm going to use my hand mixer and apparently we're going to do this until it stiff peaks. Uh, adding sugar slowly of course so that way it's sweetened. I was told that if I were to put or pour this, try to pour this over my head, if it doesn't flop on my head then uh, it's stiff peaks. So you guys can't see my head so I redid it on the counter just for you but looks pretty darn good to me. I'm going to be folding in some egg whites to the yolks, then I'm going to fold the yolks into the egg white. And now after this, we're going to be preparing our ramekins. If you have larger ramekins, I suggest you use it, but I only have these guys right here, so it's going to have to work. I was told to brush butter into the dish, as well as sprinkle in some sugar, and of course you got to do the whole twist and turn, so that way you disperse the sugar evenly all throughout the ramekin, so it will help the souffle to rise. After this, we're gonna go ahead and fill it up and we're gonna bake, bake, bake. I have preheated my oven to 390 degrees. You're supposed to bake this for about 12 to 15 minutes. I baked mine at 15 minutes. Clean off the rim before you put it in there. If you don't mind the taste of raw egg, give it a little lick like I did. It tasted very sweet because of all the sugar. And here's just a little bit of a shot, a sneak peek for ya. And here we go, look at that, it's been about 12 minutes, mm, 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 mm. All right, bear with me, gotta put my camera back. And here we go, here it comes out, three minutes later. Top is golden brown, and I'm gonna dust it with some powder sugar. This step is optional, of course, but I just find it so darn good. And it may always makes me think of snow, and I'm filming this in July, so snow in July, I guess. Um, I don't know why there was a British accent there, but look at that bite. A little taste test, and I 
think it's pretty darn good. Look at that steam. That was not intentional, but I thought that was pretty cool. And I'm gonna go ahead and continue eating this, so don't mind me. But, mmm. Well, it was good enough for me to finish the whole thing, so you gotta know how good it is. Thank you to Eugenie Kitchen for the recipe. Give this recipe a try, comment, and show it off down below. And that was it. Thanks for watching, folks, and until next time.